Hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Kazeel Technologies. Uh, today's episode, we are going to take a look at a new mod, one that I'm really excited about. Um, actually, we might take a look at a couple of mods uh, over the next several episodes that kind of play together. Uh, but we're, today we're going to be focusing on how, how to get started with immersive engineering. So stick around and enjoy the show. As you can see behind me, <laughs> uh, there are no chests here. There are no uh, Tinker's Construct stuff here. There's no bookshelf. There's no Tinker's Smelter just standing off in a random spot. We have everything organized. I did move Tinker's over to here. And based off of what I was telling you guys yesterday about the um, there being a lot of rooms and this to feel like a village, to feel like a city, uh, this is going to be um, an area where we... Tinkers is going to be in this area. What else we put in here uh, is yet to be seen. But this is where I've got Tinkers for now. <laughs> and we, we will be playing with Tinkers uh, more. Uh, the thing is, I just there, I, there are so many mods that I want to play with that I want to get into that I just can't justify going back over content that we've done before so um but there are some stuff in tinkers that you haven't seen that I do want to do so, so we will be getting into that okay so I would made two more of 4k storage devices none of them are full on bytes so that's a great indicator that we have a lot of different types of items but not a lot of one item um, so this is actually, this is working out really well for us. Should we start filling up our bytes, uh, then we'll probably jump up to the next storage up. Um, until then, we'll probably just stick with 4K because they're fairly cheap and fairly easy to make. Today, though, we're going to be getting into immersive engineering. And for those who haven't seen immersive engineering, <laughs> stick around because this is going to be pretty awesome. I know uh, one of my viewers, he's going to watch anyway, no matter what. Um... But I'm just saying, don't lose interest because it is super cool. Uh, do I not have any of these things? I have string. Can I make paper? Cool. <laughs> I'm trying to make a book. There we go. I like this Tinker's recipe here. Uh, the paper, the uh, blank patterns, and some string. That's kind of nice. Okay, so to start off with uh, immersive engineering, you're going to want the Tinker's, uh, not the Tinker's, the immersive engineering uh, manual, the engineer's manual. And when you right click on it, <clears throat> it opens up this list of stuff, um, update, overview, resources, all these things. Um, we are going to be using this as a reference guide for when I go, when I get into something. Um, when I, there's a lot of multi blocks in this. Uh, for example, if I come into Heavy Machinery and click on the Fermenter, for example, it's got this really cool diagram um, here that is how to build it, right? So if I were to hit pause here, and I can go um, to the first level here, and it, will t and it will show me what this level is made out of. Then I can go up to the second level and the third level. Um, we can we can just kind of kind of do that. Also, if you hover over the question mark over here, it will tell you all of the things that you need to make the thing that you're making. Yeah, it's a, like I said, there's lots of multi blocks in this uh, that all look really really cool. What this does not show you is oh, it does show you what it looks like fully made. So this is uh, what the fermenter looks like uh, once it's fully developed. Uh, if this is what it will look like before we turn it into its multi block structure. And this is what it looks like afterwards. Um, some of the cooler things here, there's an excavator. So uh, if I hit stop on there, um, this this is like the arm for it. And if there is, yeah, here's the wheel for it. So it looks, uh, and the wheel actually does spin. So this is kind of like a in, uh, like a digital miner. Um, but these these spin around like this, and they sit inside of this thing here. So this is where it goes, right there, and it will spin around. Really, really cool. Um, for example, another example here is oil processing, which we'll, which we will be getting into. Is a pump jack here, and this is it animated, which is it's a pretty nice touch. So it's got the uh, it's got the really, really cool look to it. 
Um, so immersive engineering is cool looking, takes up a lot of space, um, and it's a lot of fun to play with, I think. I think it's a lot of fun. So we're going to get started with that. One of the first things that you want to do, I believe, uh, is to start making a, uh, a blast furnace, or a coke oven, rather. <clears throat> and then from there we can get into blast bricks. Okay, so uh, if we look in here and we look for, uh, let's see, I think it's under simple machines, no. Um, treated wood, it might be in there. Looking for, for resources or Coke oven, here we go. So Coke oven is going to be, um, this is how you get coke brick. So you can either take coke brick slab that you have made from coke brick um, and make bricks out of it, or you could take uh, four bricks, four clay, and some sandstone to get three coke bricks. Um, and then we're gonna make a three by three structure. I'm gonna pause this. So it's a three by three by three, and it's not hollow in the middle. Uh, the reason why that's mentioned is there used to be a, I think, Railcraft back in uh, 1.7.10 had a Coke oven that was made out of different materials, but it had a hollow middle, uh, so it's just eight blocks here instead of nine. Um, anyway, um, before we get into that, though, we need to make what's called the uh, Engineer's Hammer. And let's see if I can find it. Here it is right here. And that's going to be um, two iron, two sticks, and a string. And you will need to craft multiple of these eventually. Um, eventually using this, it will break, and you'll just have to make another one. Not expensive, as you can see. But let's see how far we go into the Coke oven. Now what Coke, uh, I don't know if you know anything about, um, uh, what am I trying to think of? Coal coke. There we go. There's it. Um, coal coke is is made from I think distilling down um, coal and making it just I don't know it burns longer. It burns twice as long actually. See if I can find it here. Uh, coal coke right here. So if you look at burn time is thirty thirty two hundred ticks, um, and we go to regular coal. It's 1600. So we, what we do is we take regular coal and stick it into our Coke oven and make uh, coal Coke. And that's going to be something that we can use in multiple places throughout the, uh, throughout the game here. One of the most important things for us, though, is the creation of creosote, uh, which is not listed in those buckets. <laughs> um... There's lots of there's lots of fluids that we can make here. Biofuel, you did see that right. Um, well, it does make it does make creosote as a byproduct. Um, that's okay. That's okay. We won't we won't worry about that. Let's see what we have here. How much how much clay do we have here? Let's go back into our book and come over to this. And this is. Uh, coke brick so we have we need 30, 27 coke brick uh, which means we need uh, 27 divided by 3 is 9 and 9 times 4 is 36 so we need 36 brick right yes <laughs> uh, so we do not have enough clay. I'm gonna go grab some more clay. Okay, I went and grabbed a lot more um, clay. Got some of it cooked up here, and I also went and grabbed some more um, some more sandstone. Let's see if there's a way to get to. I know there's a way to show the oval world. Uh, I'll just show you later. But anyway, um, kind of down southeast of the portal uh, bunker is an, is a desert biome, which I was really excited to find. Uh, I did that <clears throat> looking for 
beat roots. I ran around um, trying to find the villages. Found a couple. Uh, first one didn't have any beet roots. Uh, but anyway, okay, so we need 27 of these. And shoot. <laughs> I miscounted. All right, toss that back in there. There we go. Now I'm going to put uh, immersive engineering in uh, one of these two uh, hallways here. I think it might have to go in this one. I think it'll it will look the best in here <laughs> uh, with the color palettes and everything. So we'll just start we'll just start over here with it. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually going to put the coke ovens, uh, the coke oven singular over here, and um, just kind of start working over here. So it's a three by three by three. And then you pull out your hammer and right click. And there we go. We've got a coke oven. Now let's grab some coal. And one of the things that we're going to need to do is set up an access panel in each of these wedges, each of these wings, uh, so that we can get to our items without having to run around all over the place like we're doing. So we'll take a stack of coal. And actually what I'd like to do is I'd like to make a stack of coal uh, bricks. Uh, blocks rather and we'll cook these down um, you can once these turn into coal coke bricks I think I think we can do this yeah this will take quite a while uh, for this to convert all of these into coal coke bricks block of coal coke um, but it will give us probably nine buckets of um, <laughs> of creosote at a time so we're going to need to uh, to deal with that because we're going to quickly run out of room. Now this thing will continue to convert coal into coal coke even if this is full. So we need to find a way to uh, to put this into another um, another device, another spot, and then we can uh, to, we can do something with that. So what I'd like to do, if I can, see if I can. Uh, jump in here to simple machines. Uh, might be heavy. Hopefully it's not heavy machines. Nope. Storage. Is there a storage section? Not as familiar with what everything is categorized as. Maybe it's under construction? Tank. There we go. The tank is made with... Let's pause this. Um, treated wood fence, so we can't do that yet. Can we? Yeah, yes, we can. Um, treated wood fence, and then iron sheet metal. Uh, we don't know what either of those two things are yet. Um, if we look down here, these are the sheet metals, and we just click on um, on this. Now, these over here, you're, you're looking at this, and you're like, okay, what? How do you get iron plates? So we're gonna grab grab the uh, once it cycles over to immersive engineering. We're gonna see that one iron with an engineer's hammer makes one plate, and um, four of these plates make four sheet metals. Now, if we go back into our book, this tells us that we need 34 sheet metals. So that's a um, little bit less than six, right? A little bit less than six uh, crafts of it. So we're going to basically need 34, um, we'll do 36 uh, pieces of iron, which is not too bad. And then the treated wood fence <clears throat> is with, um, let's see if I can find it, easier just to type it in, but um, this, this right here. So treated wood is when you take, uh, let's grab the actual treated wood here a bucket of creosote oil and surround it with any kind of planks. It doesn't have to be acacia, it can be anything. Um, so we're going to do that. Once this is done crafting, basically this is, that's what this is for, is to create us some creosote. Um, now this is 21% out of 100 and this is going to take a while. Now this automatically works, right? This isn't one of the things where you have to feed it anything other than coal uh, to get your creosote. 
Uh, and we will grab some buckets because we're going to need to craft a bunch of this uh, treated wood. Because the next thing that we want to make is on page one here, it's the blast brick. We want to make a blast furnace because we want to start making steel, uh, immersive engineering steel, because with that comes some pretty awesome things. So let's grab some buckets. We have four here. We'll just stick all four of those in there. Let's grab some planks. I know we've got bunches and bunches of planks. Hey, we'll use eucalyptus. <laughs> uh, actually, we'll just keep that in there. We'll just bring the creosote over here when it's done. Um, and then we can start working while we're waiting for the coal, uh, for the coke oven to do its thing. We'll break down some of the, uh, the iron into plates. And um, yeah, you can stick. So here's one thing real quick uh, as a side note. For immersive engineering, blue is in, orange is out. So you see this little dot right above this block here? That's input. So if I were to want to automate this, I could have actually anywhere on this whole thing, I could put like a hopper or pipes or something that feed into this and have buckets be put into there, right? And then I could have pipes or anything coming out of this on any block and it would have it sorted to, you know, be be full of um, the creosote buckets and then I could pull it out that way. Now, what we what I would like to do is use the game's built-in fluid pipes. Now this is just iron plates again. Um, so let's make a whole bunch, of, let's just make a stack of iron plates. Uh, break our hammer right away. Because <laughs> we have, uh, we've got loads of resources and that's what I love most about this device here. It's already, it's still working, right? It's still going. Um, I just set it up to just grab me all the ore in the area and it's uh, 20,000 again. So I'm just gonna let this work. And as, as this chest gets full, I'll just take it out, stick it into my AE system, and yeah, we're good to go. So that's great. So let's grab all... Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, it almost destroyed the, the hammer. Okay, so let's make some of these pipes, and I'll show you how cool these pipes are. Um, when you put them down, they actually take up a pretty much the same size as a block. See that? Isn't that really cool? And as you extend it, they've got these support beams on them. They look so cool, I know. I love immersive engineering. Whoever the the guy that designed this uh, really really captured the, the the aesthetics of this. And wait till you see what this tank looks like. <laughs> so let's make the tank next. Uh, now we're gonna need was it thirty uh, thirty? Oops. Uh, now there's not. Hmm. Here, let's just do this. Yeah, I'll just do nine, because um, I just needed 34, so that's <laughs> eight, not six crafts. All right, so that's uh, that, and then now we just need to wait for the creosote, um, and I believe this will work. I believe, <laughs> I believe, um, you know, we'll have to put this tank up on on some, on some stuff. Um, Okay, so I'm going to wait here. I'm going back and forth, kind of trying to figure out what I'm doing. I'm going to break here and wait for this to be crafted. I wonder if we're going to need a couple. Let's do some quick, accurate math here. Um, so I will get eight pieces of wood from the creosote. Uh, crafting, yep. Okay. So that's, um, yeah. One craft should give me... Uh, six fences, I think, maybe. Yeah, uh, and that should be enough. Actually, I'm going to let it do two buckets worth, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I was right. Um, <laughs> uh, about it being multiple buckets, not exactly about um, the fact that it's nine buckets, but it's five buckets for oops, uh, nine buck or five buckets for uh, one block of cold coke. So this was, this is going to fill up rather quickly. So let's take both of let's actually take all four of these and turn them into uh, treated wood. Now treated wood looks really cool. Uh, you haven't seen treated wood yet, other than in the pictures. Uh, it's got an interesting little uh, tint to it. So let's grab planks here. 
Hopefully this works with eucalyptus. That would be awesome. It does. <laughs> it's kind of an interesting brown. Um, and it may clash. You'll have to let me know. It may clash with what we have in that area. <clears throat> it may work really, really well. It's hard to say. Let's put these back. Actually, I'm going to hang on to that. Um, I need to go back to my crafting station. <laughs> I should not have left there. I need to make uh, eight fences is what I'd like to make. So we have to make treated wood, uh, treated sticks. And let's do another set here. Um, that'll be three, six, nine. Good enough. <clears throat> in applied on logistics you're going to see me hit ew a lot that's usually what i use to like in your when you're in your inventory i usually hit e to get out of there uh, so that's why you'll see that and then i usually hit w to start moving um okay so i want to move i want to put this right here i'm going to put it up on two stilts just like that um and then the steel goes in the middle like this I believe let's take a look at this and go back down to the first okay so this is going to be our first floor here okay uh, and then we're gonna go up from there so it's one two three hollow ones and then a fourth solid one so let's go up let's use these okay so hollow one two three and then a solid block on top. Okay, take this apart. <clears throat> now it'll tell you in here, uh, when you go to, somewhere on here it'll tell you uh, where to hit it with a hammer. It, it should. Multi-block provides, it will, hmm. okay, well let's try hitting it kind of anywhere. There we go. How cool does that look? <laughs> okay, now if we were to pillar up to the top here, we can see that there's a hole up here. Now that's input. Um, I believe also these along the sides here are input as well. Um, so let's try. Let's let's connect this over to here and see if this starts filling up with tank fluid. No, it doesn't. Oh, because there's none in here. Oh, there is. There's a, there's a bucket in there. Now, I thought that this would work. So let's try, let's make, go make a couple more pipes because it would it'd be okay with me if I had to make a bunch. <laughs> I like how they look. I think they look really, really cool. And we might even scoot that tank over a little bit um, so that it's right next to, right next to the, the pipes. Okay, let's do, let's do two more crafts of it. Ah, let's just finish it off all three. Yeah, let's just make a bunch. Okay, now let's head back and let's see if we can get this. I may have to go underneath the coke oven, that would be sad. I thought that it would work from every direction, but let's try going up to the top and seeing if that, if that is how it would work. Do I want to move this over now? <laughs> no, I think I'm just going to stick with right where it's at. Oh, I can't. Okay. I don't think that makes a difference. No. But that looks really cool, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, so then the goal, once we get the the oil, the uh, creosote to go in there correctly, the bottom is the output. So if we dig down here and look at the bottom, there's another hole here, and that is the output. 
At least that's how it used to be. Let's take a look at the book here and see what it says. It will store up to 512 buckets of any fluid which can be piped in through the top or bottom block. Fluids can only be extracted from the bottom center block, which is what I just showed you. Applying a redstone signal to the bottom center block will make the tank output automatically. Uh, a comparator placed there will emit a signal proportional to how full the tank is. Attaching a comparator to one of the four top layers results in a signal proportional to the height of the comparator. For example, a comparator attached to the second layer of the tank would not emit any signal until the tank is a quarter full and have a... F okay, that's pretty cool. Let's go get a couple levers. I don't believe the pipes. Actually, let's take a look at the pipes here um, because I think we should be able to it's going to be in here. Nope. Metal plates, not pipes. I want to see fluid pipes. Fluid transport. Here we go. Transport f Transporting fluids has become quite essential in the engineering business. Fluid pipes and fluid pumps do exactly that on their own. Fluid pipes are not are quite slow at transferring fluids, but if a pump is used to insert the fluid, it'll move much faster. You can right-click the connection piece of a pipe with an engineer's hammer to prevent it from connecting to that side. Fluid pipes can be converted with wooden or steel scaffolding. Simply right-click the piece of scaffolding. Break the pipe. Okay, fluid pumps have three essential functions. They can be used to insert to insert into pipes at high pressure to transfer fluids much faster. Or they can pick up fluids from the world. Okay, so we need to make one of these fluid pump. Ooh, I don't know if I, I don't know if I can do that. Let's see if this is our answer. Uh, mechanical component. Oh yeah, we can do that. So we're gonna have to make another another hammer here, I think. Uh, and do I have copper? Right, it was copper that it needed for this component. Yeah. I should. Okay. Um, now we have the pipes for it. And I just need seven of these. Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's make another hammer. Cool. All right, well, we're going to need these plates anyway. I'm not that concerned. Uh, is it over here? There we go. Mechanical component, and then three plates on top like this, and three fluids there will make, give us a fluid pump. Now let's make some uh, levers while we're here. So, uh, cobble and some stick. I'll just take a cup. <laughs> I'll just take 58. That's fine. Don't right click when you're crafting in uh, Applied Energistics. It will craft everything that you own. <laughs> Up to a stack, of course. Okay, now, now here's the question. Can I put this fluid pump so that it faces that direction. Wow, that thing is huge. Does this take does this take power? It does take power. Okay, so for now, um is that is that working? Is that where how I want it? No. If I right click there, oh that's my output. And this is my input. Okay, so in, that's out. And that's a power up there. Okay, so let's go put this um let's go put this at the top. And we're going to have to come up with a power solution. And I believe that there's one that you will appreciate. I'm just going to put this right there. And then we'll use our hammer here to make that an output. And then we'll connect our pipe to that.
Now it was talking about if I right click on here and get rid of this connection. Nope. I don't want it to do that. So let's move this over one. Put it there. Make that out. We'll do that. That'll be our, that'll be how we do that. Um, however, this is going to require power. So <clears throat> here's how we do power in uh, immersive engineering. Do we have, let's put these buckets in there. How close is this to being done? Pretty close. We have this thing called a water mill. Uh, it is made like this. Oh, we're going to need steel before we can do that. Okay. Not a problem. <laughs> Let's get the blast furnace going. So the blast furnace requires some blaze powder and some nether bricks. And the blast furnace, if I look here, actually there might be a better solution in... Maybe, maybe we can do it. I don't know if we can or not. I don't see it. Is this the only windmill that we have now? Oh yeah. Okay. We're going to make a windmill. So that's an iron ingot and then eight of these wind blades, which is a bunch of treated planks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut again until we have enough to do that. Um, now that I've shown you the recipe, I'm going to go ahead and craft this. So it's four, four of these sticks per one, per one of these, I mean eight of these, and then three planks. So I'm going to just uh, make a bunch of treated wood planks, and then we'll be back uh, once I have, actually this might be enough. Well, let me, let me just do this with you. This might be enough. Let's see, so, um, <clears throat> We need 32 sticks and then 24 planks in addition to that, right? Ah, we should have enough. And then a piece of, a piece of, uh, of iron. I'm actually kind of doing a lot in this video. Oops, I didn't want to do that. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I'm laughing. I know you don't mind. Okay, so that's a whole stack of treated planks. Now, let's see, uh, how many did I say? 32 of these? Okay, one, two, three. And we'll make, I see, that only works if it's not in your inventory, gotcha. We'll do that, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, cool. I uh, put a piece of iron here. And now we have a windmill. Now what we're going to need to make in order to collect the power from the windmill is a couple of things. Okay, the this right here is a kinetic dynamo. Now this is uh, takes turning power and turns it into into power, rotational power. So this is uh, so far everything that you've seen is pretty simple to make. Uh, LV wire coil we're gonna need a lot of this so this is stick of any kind and then this copper wire and the copper wire is made by making these either shears or engineers uh, we're just gonna make some of that now and copper how are we doing on copper we could probably make a stack of copper okay because I believe each of these uh, let's go back into copper wire. Here we go. 
Uh, we got to we have to smash it into a plate first and then turn it into a wire, which is really annoying. Um, but each of these coils takes four uh, copper, um, but it gives us four, and we need eight total. I'm gonna make twelve. So let's grab. How much copper do we have? Good. Good, we have that many. <laughs> so let's smash it down into plates first, okay? And then break that up into wire. Grab some stick, which I've destroyed <laughs> all of. Okay, so put that in the middle and then put these on either side just like that and make all 12 copper wires. Now we put a piece of iron in the middle Surround that with the copper wire, gives us a copper coil. Now we can make the kinetic dynamo. And we're also going to need two, two more things. I don't know that I can make a capacitor right now. What is this, lead? I can. <laughs> interrupt you for a minute <clears throat> we'll just make these real quick <clears throat> and by real quick I mean pretty slow so let's look in the book about the the windmill generator. So this is probably going to be in a power. <laughs> uh, power generation is kinetic dynamo here and then the windmill. The windmill is a free and easy way of generating power, albeit not a very powerful one. Its speed depends on space in front of you when its kinetic output reducing greatly if airflow is obstructed. Additionally, weather conditions like rain, thunderstorms result in stronger winds and increasing rotation speeds, which is pretty great. Okay, so it used to be that the higher up you were, the better it would be, and that was just a really dumb, really dumb plan. Um, and the guy that made this knew that, so he he changed it to be more more reasonable. Uh, just as long as there's not nothing in front of it, uh, it should do fine. So here's our capacitor. This will be a battery for us. Now we're going to need to make what's called these. Uh, connectors now we're dealing with low voltage LV low voltage um, wires here so we're gonna be working with low voltage everything uh, you can connect low voltage to medium voltage and high voltage I don't believe you can it will go the other way um, it won't blow up or anything I, that I know of uh, but it's better just to be safe than sorry okay now this why did this not terracotta okay so I need to make four of these And so these wire connectors, there's two kinds of um, low voltage. There's a wire connector and a relay. And we'll just go ahead and make both for now, just so that I can show you um, what they do, what the differences are, uh, because it can be, it can be pretty cool. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, it can be pretty cool. I'm gonna grab all of this, stick it in here. Let's put our, now well, we can just hang on to the rest of this. Once this is done, there we go. And then we'll make the other two here in a minute. So the low voltage connector, uh, this is going to be kind of like input and output of um, the power. And that's gonna be designated by the yellow, I'm sorry, the blue and the orange um, respectively on the uh, on the machines that you're working with. So here's the relays. Let me show you how all this works. This is pretty cool. And for now, we're just going to work with what we have. I'll put up um, a better system uh, later. So let's do, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. I guess we'll just, we'll just pillar up. <laughs> that way you can see how this works. 
We'll pull it up to right about there. Sure, that's fine. And I'm gonna have this spinning. Um, I'll have it spinning this way, that's fine. Okay, so this is the circle in the middle, the only side of this kinetic dynamo that has a circle on the face of it is where you want to put your uh, machinery. So we'll put it, I didn't really create a way down, did I? I'm a genius. <laughs> put that there. And that should start spinning. Actually, I wanna put that on the other side. Good, I, I caught it. So I'm gonna have it spinning the other way. I'm gonna have it facing this way. Put that there. And okay, this is orange, right? So this is the output. So we're gonna put a connector here. Uh, let's actually get ourselves down. Okay, you're gonna put a, a wire connector here, right? And then what you wanna do from there is, uh, let's see, can we, good. All right, uh, now I'm gonna put another, I'm gonna put a relay here so that way you can see what these what these are like. I'm gonna put the relay, <laughs> I'm gonna put the relay here so you can see what they're like. And then <laughs> you're going to right click on your um, wire connector and you're gonna right click on the relay. And that's going to say that there is, it's not going to work. So let's break this off. Okay, we caught that. Now let's put it there. Will that work? Can we, can we relay there? No. That's fine. Um, we are going to do something a little bit more creative. Let's put a relay here. Well, that is that out far enough? Okay, that will actually connect. That works. Um, now, what we can do from there is we can right click this relay and let's actually uh, go over to here and we'll put another relay there and we'll connect wires to there. Can't. That's super annoying <laughs> because I want to turn this corner and it's not letting me. Um, how can I go about that? Oh, right, derp. Uh, I created, let's just break all this out of here. And I didn't catch either one of them, that's fine. I created this for that very reason, okay. Let's go back up and blue is in so we're going to put a connector here instead of a relay because we want the power to go from here into the battery. And the battery should start filling up with IF or RF either way. It's the same, I believe. And then what we can do then is uh, come over here and we can use our hammer to make, to make this an output. There we go. We'll do a connector there right click on it with a coil and we'll drop down. Okay, now we're gonna put the other connector here and right click on it with that same coil and now this should be getting power. Okay. Now is this filling up with fluid? Is this taking the fluid out of here? I don't know because we're still waiting for that to work. <laughs> That looks awesome. Hopefully this works, because that would be really neat. If I get that to work. This is almost done. Man, yeah, that's really, really slow. I'm just hoping that this fluid pump is able to pull the creosote out of there because that would be pretty nifty but yeah what do you think of that of that windmill that windmill is sweet huh now there's nothing in front of it for quite a few blocks uh i don't know what the block range is things can't be in front of it um but i wouldn't mind leaving this like building a windmill building over here uh attaching 
all of this to it um and then having this be like a uh, like a little um carissa oil generating thing i could be okay with that maybe putting this coke oven up on stilts and then setting it to where uh the coal coke blocks will just come straight out of it because we can use those coal 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 coke blocks uh over in our tinker's construct uh heater and it will actually make it quite a lot hotter uh, which means things will cook a lot faster okay so this is about to turn and let's hope please oh please oh please pump out of here <laughs> why why won't you pump out of there Well, I'm going to work on that off camera, um, see if I can figure that out. Well, everybody, that's going to be it for today's episode. Um, I feel like we did quite a lot, uh, and this is just a taste of what immersive engineering can do. Uh, we did not get what we wanted to have done today working, but I'll figure that out off camera, and that will be part of the start of the next episode. Uh, but for now, you guys take care. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. You, you, you just put a lever on it and turn it on. And it, <laughs> it, it pulls the creosote out of there just fine. Yeah, lever. That's, that's, that's how it works.